changes on the way for Miami-Dade students and teachers stuck behind a technical brick wall after several cyber attacks. What seemed like a glitch on Monday and became more troubling on Tuesday is now a full-scale crisis for the entire Miami-Dade Public Schools community, and now it's changing the way many students will learn. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live from the school board headquarters in downtown Miami with more changes happening today. Brooke, good morning. Hey, Francis, good morning. That change happening for middle and high school students in Miami-Dade County Public Schools. Starting this morning, grades 6 through 12 will not use that K-12 platform that has had some problems all week long. Instead, their classes will happen throughout Microsoft Teams, Zoom through Microsoft Teams, or another platform that will be determined by the school and the teacher. For grades pre-K through fifth through fifth grade, rather, they will stay on that K-12 platform for now. It's the first week of school in Miami-Dade, and some teachers have already had enough. From the rollout of the K-12 platform, the training, it was terrible. It was terrible. Linda Williams has never taught on the district's new distance learning system called K-12. Her students can't sign in, so she's been using Zoom. It just should not have been rolled out in five days and expect us to go into school on the 31st and impart what we don't know to our students. On top of that, district leaders say there have been cyber attacks from outside and within the country. The feds are now investigating who is trying to hack into a system used by the nation's fourth largest school district. Williams places blame on K-12 issues, and she says a rollout that happened too quickly. All of the signatures on this side um, are there with exception of my personal final original signature. It also turns out K-12 hasn't been bought and paid for by the district just yet. Superintendent Alberto Carvalho plans to use the long weekend, he said, to decide on whether to stop using K-12 altogether. That's because of the attacks and software issues. Also because he never signed the $15 million contract. And the contract has not been submitted back to the entity. During a virtual meeting Wednesday, the superintendent told board members he can't go into more detail about the cyber attacks because it's an open investigation. We then learned grades 6 through 12 are already moving back to the previous online learning system called Microsoft Teams. A teacher's union warned the district against using K-12. We advised them against taking uh, this platform K-12. Uh, and, uh, you know, and against the wishes of, of the union there, uh, you know, their, uh, their leadership decided to go that route. It has a really bad track record of educating kids around this nation. Some parents of the younger students have found themselves heavily involved because of the ongoing issues. So they're looking for the superintendent to make a decision sooner than later. Teachers are emailing the parents, not the students, so t uh, parents are constantly getting involved. I, I can barely step away without having to address another issue. As far as whether or not they're going to bring those middle and high school students back to the K-12 platform or even stop using it altogether, the district said it will make a decision by next Friday. I'm live in downtown Miami. Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning. So much parents and teachers and students are dealing with. Hopefully they get it together today. Thank you so much, Brooke.